Five days ago, we put cardboard on the front end. That's that's the progress. Wow, that was five days. <laughs> Fuck, dude, we're fast. For Nonsuri in California, which is in uh, ten days. Ten, ten days. Yeah. Ten days. Something like that. We don't have lives, so. Yeah, like you got like. I got stuff. I got sick at a really convenient time, which meant I couldn't go to work. And Keith's like, "Fuck it, I don't care. I'll get sick. We'll work on the car." Sick. So I've just been sick and. Keith's been here and we've been working. Minus the wheels, fuck, what do we spend? Probably like a few hundred bucks? More than that. I mean, like, materials cost a lot. I don't know, like a few hundred you bucks. You spent like fucking hundred bucks at Lord Co. today. Today, yeah, and then even on stock wheels, like a car like this on stock wheels would still be cool. Oh, yeah. Um, not as cool. Not as cool, obviously, but like, yeah. you can still do something like this on stock wheels and. Yeah. As long as it's not on like shitty wheels. Stock, guys, stock wheels are better than reps. You guys weld the div? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> it doesn't have an exhaust yet. It doesn't have a fuel system yet. Uh, diff isn't welded yet. Uh, no, no headlights prime. yet. No tail light yet. It needs to be painted. Yeah. We wanted to do IRS, but there's no time. Do you think that it'll spin these things with the, <laughs> the gearing? That's a good question. We don't know. Me and Keith can almost pick up the back end of the car. Oh, perfect. We should actually try harder to do that. Dude, uh, you're fucking back. My back's fine. Or your hernia, whatever. Yeah. Should we try? Let's try. Yeah. Nice. Well, it came up. It came up. Altogether, all the body work took two weeks. 
of like really strenuous days. This is the first time either of us have done long nose, yeah. We didn't really learn. We just kind of took ideas from seeing it on social media and applying it to this thing. Yeah. The whole design of it, we kind of stole from another car. Uh, a really cool uh, 61 in Hokkaido. Uh, definitely one of the most influential non-Surrey cars. So it's basically the same engine as the other car. Uh, it's a Z22, uh, which is basically like a single cam KA. Right. But we swapped it over to an MU, a Toyota MU, which is the car that originally came in Reed's Budeme. Oh, okay. So, yeah, have, you, have you not seen the swap? I haven't seen the swap. Oh yeah, fuck. It fits really well. Yeah, we were surprised it fit it's as good as it does. Well, to take a four-cylinder like natural. And Six in is never really an easy yeah, luckily it's like a decently small yeah. six-cylinder. Parts car at one point. Yeah, this is the fucking Angel Cars parts car. It was a black piece of shit that we pulled out of a swamp. This engine swap was probably the easiest part of it, which is surprising. Really? Yeah. Because it's so simple. Like, yeah. it's just like, it runs on such a simple fucking ignition system. It's carbureted. It's a manual fuel pump. We just built some plate mounts, like you can right. see it. We just, solid? yeah, this car, honestly, it sounds fucking great. Even with the log header, it's just two inch pipe all the way back and it sounds phenomenal. What? Tried to make it as close as we can to a Z10 Soarer because we didn't get Soarers here and Soarers are such an iconic yeah. uh, non-Surrey style car that we wanted to do our best to emulate a Soarer as best we could. That's why we put the Toyota six cylinder in it right. and it's a two door, coupe with the opera window Sick. we tried to basically sort of drop hints yeah. every so often to make people think that it was a soar to the rescue. 